electric scooters they just seem to be everywhere <laughs> At the beginning of October these scooters just invaded Prague overnight and people are going crazy there's been a couple articles already about them and the whole story is pretty interesting right now there should be one park just around the corner from my house so let's go try rent it and see what the ride is how much it will cost and we can compare it with a uber ride so let's go check it out first of all what went through my mind is how stupid am i to actually volunteer for this oh no 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 you stay home today <laughs> I hope the scooter is still there so I can go test it. I'll plan to take it to Acropolis, which is where I'll be going tonight. See what's the price difference. Renting a scooter for 25 crowns plus 2 crowns a minute or riding Uber, not having to worry about anything, just sit down in the car, enjoy a nice ride and pay about 55, 70 crowns. We'll see how that compares. I just hope it's still part there. <laughs> it's gone, it's gone. So, missed it, but there's another one. Luckily, nearby, just around the corner. So, let's hurry up before somebody will take it just in front of me. Got the scooter and hopefully nobody will now. Oh my. Okay. I guess I won't be riding this one, that's for sure. Well, this is a sad example of how people treat things that do not belong to them. Well, we'll see how this whole sharing a scooter idea will survive in Prague. Okay, let's go to have a look for another one. Right here near Flora, there will be one more scooter that will be good to go, so let's go check it out. Third attempt seems to be a success.
Turkey for sure. I didn't like it very much. Too shaky of a ride. Maybe Uber next time. Okay, done. Then Ride with Uber, 62 crowns. Ride with a bike, shaky one, 37. No, not too happy about it. It's almost double the price, but comfort is totally different compared to the shaky. Shaky speed. I think I see one, I see one. Almost by the scooter. It's over there. Oh, oh no, it's a trash bin, not a scooter. Do you see scooter? Yeah. No, I see another trash bin. Aha, uh -huh. I look different. <laughs> not very much. According to my yesterday's experience, not a big difference. Trash bin or a lime scooter. <laughs> okay, so this bike shows 100% charged and obviously it's not doing anything. Sorry! I think this is the major problem. It has to do with the stones in Prague. Totally messed up.
scooters. Lime scooters. What was my experience like? Well, I'll definitely be staying with my one wheel. No matter what it may seem like, it's way more stable and it feels way more safe riding that in the streets of Prague compared to the Lime scooters. Price comparison, Uber compared to Lime, I already said it's 37 crowns compared to 62 crowns, which actually was not right because there was some 10% discount applied to that ride. So the cost of the ride was actually 47 crowns. So that makes it 15 crowns difference compared to Uber Ride, which is totally comfortable. You don't have to do anything, just sit down in the car compared to kicking the scooter and riding a shaky scooters as those in Prague. The other thing is, uh, I already came across several scooters that were badly damaged, basically not usable. The one I showed you, that was Saturday. Now, today is Tuesday. It's been laying there for four days. Four days. We'll see how the service goes. Will we love them or hate them based on my experience so far, based on the articles in the newspapers? I don't think this is the right way for love. Let's give them a chance and uh, stay optimistic and hope for the best. Anyways, I had great fun riding those scooters. So enjoy your rides. Let me know in the comments below what you think about Lime Scooters in Prague. What is your experience and whether you love them or hate them. Stop.